Out of 14 championship meetings, they've won seven apiece, but before the Dawn game, they haven't actually met since 1972. Derry have won seven Ulster titles and won their only All-Ireland, of course, in 1993. But Antrim were champions of Ulster on 10 occasions. You actually have to go back as far as 1951 for their last provincial win. Anthony Tobel and Kevin Madden are the top scorers. Our President Mary McAleese was in Casement Park for this afternoon's game, and so was your commentator, Jimmy McGee. Kevin Madden starts his first competitive game for Antrim since he broke his jaw 12 weeks ago. The forward line is reshuffled, at least the jersey numbers are switched. Number 14 is Kevin Brady, the two-goal hero of the drawn game. Seven of this Derry team won All-Ireland medals seven years ago. McKeever, Coleman, the Downey brothers, Tovel, Heaney and Burns. Niall McCusker and Paddy Bradley could not have won them then because they were just 12 years old in 1993. Paddy Russell from Tipperary is a big match referee. Anthony Toll got the first touch. This is Sheeny McQuillan. All a bit untidy in there. That's Eamon Burns who's put the floor. Toll right into the Adron goal mouth. Important one here for them. Now it's dropped out to goal. What a start. Paddy Bradley. 20 seconds gone and Bradley has put it in the Adron net. Massive delivery from Anthony Toll. Put the fullback line under pressure. It broke out to the left foot of Bradley. What a start for Derry. That's Henry Downey. Breaking into space. Here is Eamon Burns. Here's another goal chance for Derry. By this time he's happy with a point. But it was a good percentage shot nonetheless by Burns. Rating in on goal. Take what's coming. What came was a point. Anthony Toll for Derry. Again, looking in for a weakness in that full back line. It brought the first goal. It's now brought in the Muldoon into play. And he sticks it over the black spot. Another score for Derry. And clearly, on the evidence of the first five minutes, they've done their homework and feel that a Toll can deliver early and high. The Antrim full back line may be vulnerable. Killen's gone out with Muldoon. McBride. Seamus Downey. Good interplay by Derry. And another point in the Muldoon. His second of the game. And after just five and a half minutes play, Derry lead by six points. coming out took a wallop all right now can Antrim mount the first meaningful attack of the game it's with Kevin Brady for the first time he could buy Coleman now Peter McCann McCann getting inside Henry Downey going for goal Peter McCann Antrim are back in the ball game ten minutes gone the initial work was done by Kevin Brady Took a while to shake off. Coleman got there, played the perfect pass to McCann. He had only one thing on his mind, the cobwebs. Now Joe Quinn for Antrim. Very well taken for Antrim by Kevin Madden, one of the best unsung footballers around Ulster. Support play coming here from Ron Hamill. Go for a score. That's a terrific score. Ronan Hamill, the man who put it over the bar. Quillen drops it right in around there. And from not out of it yet. And he's brought down. Paddy Russell puts them away. The danger again of Brady in there. Derry will be familiar. But the real problems that he caused them in the drawn match.
and he's causing them again today. After less than six minutes play, Derry led at Caseman Park on this first Sunday in July by six points. Sheeny McQuillan has a chance to make me rephrase that sentence. There it is, it's in the net. It's the penalty, and Antrim are in the lead. By one point. 2-1 to 1-3. Two, this piece of catching there by Dermot Haney. Two-man full forward line. It's dropped down by Muldoon to Bradley get the first goal. This time, it's divided by three. Point for Bradley. The Antrim wing backs have switched. Garoid Adams has gone left. John Kelly's gone right. Wing back. Dermot Heaney playing marvelously at centre field for Derry. And the lack of marking here leaves Eamon Burns free. That switch of the Antrim half backs is because the Antrim wing forward switched. And Muldoon again. And the Muldoon has now scored three points in this first half at Kissman Park. And that's one of the best of them. He's very, very good at that, spinning away from a would-be marker, and he's also very good at the high, lofted shot. Good score. This is Eamon Burns, getting there before Kelly. Inside Kelly, trouble here for Adram at the back. Eamon Burns, the attacker. Nice little piece of play by Brawley. Burns, all working it out. Next man is Gary Coleman. Then Ender Muldoon. Very complex move that ends in a point by Ender Muldoon, the first of the half. Toll waiting behind to get Coleman the out pass. Joe Brawley, the layoff to Eamon Burns. Brawley's gone on. If he gets in his left foot, he could be in for a score. Will he get it in his left foot? The answer is yes. Joe Brawley. The pass, the layoff, the run, all well nigh perfect. Nice drop down, it comes to Dermot Duggan, bearing down on goal. Can somebody come and meet him? They can't afford to. Or said he'd be else to be free, it's Duggan over the bar. That's a good individual score by Dermot Duggan from Newbridge. Paul McFlynn. Looks for Ender Gormley. Great cheer when Gormley gets possession. Has a look up. Who's free? Eamon Burns was coming in from the right wing. Geroy Adams is the nearest Antrim player. Now it's Muldoon raiding from midfield. Brawley. He got the call. The call came from Duggan. And eventually it's Paddy Bradley who sticks it over. Joe Cassidy. Out to Joe Bradley. The switch. The turn inside. Finnegan. The left foot. There's nearly a guarantee with Smiling Joe. Here's Aidan Morris for Antrim. Game and injury time. Madden. John McManus, Paddy Logan. That's a good score by Paddy Logan. Very good score. Dermot Heaney, Gary Coleman. Always seem to have a free man, Derry. Good running off the ball. Good awareness of each other's presence. And a very good score by Ronan Rocks. Well, you're officially banned, but that doesn't stop you speaking to us, Emma. No, I think that's the rule that I'm allowed. The match is over now, and I think I'm allowed to talk to the, the likes of yourself. 
You must be pleased. Good performance. Oh, it's a good performance. We won easy enough at the finish, but really, Anthony put it up to us. They scored three goals now against us in the two games, and uh, we'll just have to look at that. But they have lacked a fine pace in their forward line, and, and they would score goals against any team in the country. Now, where did you see the match from, and could you contribute in any way? Now you can tell us that the match is over. Well, I contributed very little, you know, but uh, you mean Casty and Martin and Michael Cannon and, and Brennan's well fit to, to carry on. They don't need me holding their hand, and uh, I was happy enough to be up in the stand. You started with seven of the men who won the Sam Maguire in 1993. At the end, I think you had nine, maybe ten. It's getting back to the old days, is it? They were great men. And, uh, <laughs>